most evident proof um, that it is flat is what's most abundant to us um, today, which is water. Now, we know one of the natural physical water is to its extent, to wherever it goes, once it is settled, it remains flat. Literally so, false. Why do you say that's false? Do tides exist? They do. Can there be a high tide in one place and a low tide in another place at the same time? That happens. So water is not level. Thank you. Do you understand? Yep. The concept of water being level? Yep. Do you? I do. What does level mean? Level means that, as I was explaining to you earlier on, to its extent, from one place to another, undisturbed, it remains flat at the surface. Level does not mean flat, no. I understand. I said undisturbed. No, you don't understand because that's not what level is. Level is perpendicular to the acceleration of gravity. What's gravity? Uh, gravity is a phenomenon of mass attracting mass. You could say it that way. Can you replicate or show what gravity is? What gravity is? We can do, we can replicate. Um, we can uh, demonstrate the phenomena that I just explained to you. But can you replicate or show what gravity is? Yeah, you For can example, do. A, yeah, you can do I a can Cavendish experiment. What is that? Uh, you take two heavy masses balanced on a balanced on like a bar and then it hangs from a string in the middle and then you put two heavy weights next to them on the ground and they will always it's very slow but they will rotate and gravitate toward those heavy massive objects and then after they do it you can pick them up and move them and they'll swing back and uh, go and touch them again it's been done countless so, times. Here's another example, because that one's been talked about ad nauseum, and it's boring. I have my own fun example that I thought of the other day. Do you see this pencil? Yeah, I do. Okay, what's your explanation for why things fall down? Well, just that um, they're heavier than the gases or whatever it is that surrounds them. Great, because of density. Okay, I have a question for you. Is the... If I hold the pencil right here, is this part of it more dense than the air than this part of it is? No, it isn't. Correct. The density is the same all the way through. But then how come when I try to balance it, it falls down? If it's because of density, why do things have a central... Why do things have a center of gravity or center of mass if density is what's making them go down? The All density right. has to act on the entire thing uniformly. What the heck exactly. is going on here? Well, what the heck is going on is actually... Um, what the heck is going on is your finger. That is a disturbance between what density is and the low density. It doesn't density matter. Form. If it's density, it then... It, it, if it's it density... Density can't account for why things unbalance if the density no, of that substance is uniform and the density of the air around it is uniform all. then the fact there, that things unbalance is not explained in, by that there's dif there's a difference in trying to explain what balancing is and why things fall i guess we can both understand that right yeah because it has a center of mass or a center of gravity that's why they do that there is a gravitational force that is pushing down on it, and it's, it pushes down on the mass of the object. And when, I, un pushes. when I unbalance that... Gravity pushes? Um, well, it's more of a pull. I thought you said in, that gravity pulls things together, but no. Yeah. In, respect, in respect to the, the reference of the pencil versus the earth, the pencil falls down to the earth. So the earth pulls the pencil down. So if you want to just be cheeky and pedantic. Uh, no, I think you're being you're being contradicting in not actually knowing what gravity is. Right? So you admit Which that is, gravity exists, okay. No. No, you just admitted admitting. that gravity exists. That's a contradiction. Not. Yes, based you did. On, based, 
Oh, so if I get I one word wrong, I, that doesn't no, mean that the entire thing, that's not a concession? Not that's wrong, but how you're explaining things, why you're wrong. So, it's not about the word. So anyways, word, you said that gravity is real. So, what do you want to talk about next? I did next? not. Yes, you did. I did not. So when I said it pulls, that was just that was just a simple word mistake. I'm not actually conceding anything. <laughs> it isn't. Congratulations. Um, gra gravity, gravity on your guys' part, as you want to say that gravity exists, is a force that pulls. It's not a force that pushes, right? Yep. So yep. whatever your explanation is pertaining to that is totally not even off, but it generally um, basically doesn't make any sense, right? Now, if we may continue, remove whatever it is that's under the pencil, right? And the earth. Forget about balance, which is not what we're talking about because gravity has nothing to do with balance, right? It has everything to do with balance. What does gravity have to do with balance? I thought it was a force that pulls. Yeah. So what does balance um, go with that? Okay. Regardless of whether something is balanced or not, gravity does still have that effect on it, right? Based yep. on your guys' the, um, the gravity. Oh, so you admit that gravity does do this. I said based on your guys' train of thought, based on uh, okay. your guys' right. So we have a pencil, right? The gravity is uh -huh. pulling on all parts of the pencil, correct? Yeah, based on what you guys know yeah, about gravity. So if I, gravity is, right? if I were to if, if I were to rest this pencil on, on a table, so it's not going anywhere, and then I I put a stopper right here, and I, I pulled on that pencil, it would do that same thing, right? There is a downward force pulling on this pencil, which is why it has this imbalance here. Density doesn't account for that in any way. Then things fall, the pencil doesn't fall, right? Things fall because they're heavier than the air that surrounds them. Now, obviously, if there is something like a finger that is Where in the does way, the weight come from? Where does what weight come from? You just said things fall because they're heavier, so that's a description of their weight. Where mm -hmm. does the weight of an object come from? From the object, obviously. From its mass? Whatever you guys call it, from the object. So what does something weigh when it's falling? Do you ever put something on The a question scale? is, what does something weigh when it's falling? It weighs whatever it is. So, yeah, let me re-ask the question, and maybe you'll get it right this time. What does something weigh when it's falling? Mm -hmm. I'll well, give you the answer. I, the answer I, is nothing. I so I'll I ask saw. you the question a third time. What does something weigh when it's falling? And just as a reminder, the answer is nothing. Uh, how do you come to that conclusion? So let me ask you this question for the fourth time. And as a reminder, I'm going to tell you that the answer is nothing. What does something weigh when it's free falling? No, I'm asking you. So I'm going to interrupt you, you so I can ask the question for a nothing... fifth time. And for the third time in this fifth reiteration, I'm going to tell you what the answer is. The answer is nothing. So what does something weigh when it's falling? I'm going to ask you the question again. Wow, that's kind of weird how you're trying to take my my, my my question here. You're doing I know you are, but what am I? Or something like that. Or I am rubber, you are glue. Uh, grow up. But anyways, when something is in free fall, how, what does it weigh? And again, the answer is nothing. That's the sixth time I'm asking you and the fourth time I'm, I'm telling you the you, answer. I'm going to ask you this So I'm going again. to interrupt you. How do you uh, this will be the last time that I will do it though, just for the record. It weighs nothing. Something in free fall doesn't weigh anything that is the answer so what does something weigh when it's in free fall whatever it weighs when you put it on a scale if there's literally a false ball that is thrown on you how do you literally come to that false. conclusion so how do you come to that conclusion that there are there are so many ways to come to that conclusion it's actually really simple so when you stand on a scale you press down on the scale right uh -huh. let's imagine that you jump out of a plane with a scale um, are you going to be able to press down with all of your weight on that scale? You wouldn't be able to. That's a rhetorical question. Correct. Rhetorical so you question. don't have weight when you're in free fall. That is not true. Okay. Well, I just demonstrated that it is true and you agreed. So I'm not really sure exactly what we do from here.